Okay, so this is a very quick one and pretty simple. If you are a Superbase user, you will have recently been seeing this message on the top of your screen and it means that if you're sending emails to your users via the inbuilt Superbase system, i.e. for reset passwords, etc., you won't be able to do so from the 20th of September. You're going to have to use an external SMTP provider um, because they're taking this away from us so it had rate limits anyway but um, for small apps you wouldn't have crossed the rate limits so I'm just going to quickly run through what you need to do to set up your custom provider and it's uh, dead simple so you can click on the setup custom SMTP now in the top right hand corner or if you need to find it if you go into your project settings and you go into authentication and then scroll down you have got your custom provider. You need to toggle the switch and then you need to provide the details you need from your provider to uh, to set up the sending of the emails. Now, if you Google this, all you're going to get, you're just going to get loads and loads and loads of providers. Mailjet I have used in the past and Mailgun and I think Brevo as well. Send grid, they're all big names, so choose one that suits you. However, you may not know, or you may know, if you have an iPhone user and pay for an iCloud upgrade, i.e. anything beyond the standard storage that comes with it, which doesn't get you that much for backing up a modern iPhone, to be honest, so most people are going to pay for it some way, shape, form, I would think, you can actually use custom email domains. And I've got one there, you can see I set up. I've got a domain set up for mapitmvp.co for sending and receiving emails that are not via the gmail address and you can set this up and use this as your provider and you're paying for it anyway so just something to bear in mind if you're an iphone user so just going to run through my settings um just to show you what I need to put in the boxes it's straightforward you'll have your sender email address i've got a catch all there the sender name you put in there and then you'll be provided a, a host of your provider. So that's the one we've got there. And then the port number, you'll be given a port. The one for iCloud is 587. And then you can make that decision yourself on the minimal interval between sending emails. And then you just put in your username and password and click save. And then what will happen is on your emails that are being sent from Superbase for any of these things, resetting passwords, changing email addresses, confirming signups, etc., etc., anything you're using it for, they will be then sent via your custom provider and not by the standard Superbase one. Like I say, it's really really very very simple to do this is a really short video i appreciate that but it is prescient because we lose this this week so if you are using super base sender emails make sure you make the change so if you're an iphone user you can send those emails via your icloud account in your custom domain that's uh that's one way of doing it if you're already paying for it so you can sign up via that if you're signing up for a provider obviously there's loads and loads of email providers out there just sort of pick one that suits your needs or you can try gmail settings if you are a gmail user i haven't tried this myself that may work as well but i guess depending on what you're sending your emails for you may not want to use gmail obviously but just a thought a few options even if it's just for testing purposes so there we go 26 september we'll have to change it so uh, and that's really all there is to it. Hopefully that helps and I will speak to you in the next video.